was fulfilled. And other people might see these as just ordinary days, but I was happy no matter what. I was hoping these ordinary days would last forever until that day. Hi guys, since this is a famous rumor, you, might, uh, you all might know it, but I'll post it here anyhow since I don't see it posted by anyone else. Have you ever heard, someone is here? Have you had this kind of abrupt feeling when you are alone, like you can feel someone is here? Of course you don't actually see them, but afterwards, everyone around you say someone was actually there. You think it's just your imagination. If not, though, I wonder when or where they will follow you. Why do they follow you in the first place? Oh, it seems the style changed a bit. So, this is the rumor posted on the forum yesterday, huh? Yeah, I know this one. And their outfit changed, I think. Someone is here is a famous rumor which has been around for a long time, right? Yep, I know this one too. It was funny posted on the mysterious forum, huh? I've heard it from one of my senpais in my neighborhood. But who posted it though? Hmm, since it has a handle, it doesn't seem like the previous anonymous. Maybe this farm is checked by outsiders, too? Hey, you guys. What kind of rumor is it that you heard of before? Wait. Dude, does it switch? Let's see. Connie. Hmm, the rumor I heard, that I have heard was... One day, a student of Kizaragi Junior Girls Junior High School dropped her keychain on the way back to her house. It's a cat-shaped keychain with a cute bell. She heard the bell tinkle, so she turned around, thinking that she may have dropped the keychain, but she didn't see it anywhere. It was her favorite, so she kept looking for it for a long time, but she still couldn't find it. She quit trying to find it that day, thinking of coming back there again the next day and sure of the area where she may have dropped it. She looked at the picture before she went to bed that night. She saw a suspicious figure in that picture. That person in the photo seemed to be staring at the bottom of the telephone pole. Getting scared, she deleted it. Next day, she went back to the area again where she saw some flowers at the bottom of the telephone pole. The rumor says there was an accident there the previous night and the driver was instantly killed after crashing into the pole. She never found the keychain, but the student ominously insisted someone was there for sure where the accident happened. All right, the rumor which I've heard is a student who belonged to the soccer club was saying that he might have been stalked by someone. He found that his uniform was in a slightly different place from where he put it or he felt like he was being watched on his way back home. But it didn't go any further than that. He had never been threatened or directly contacted by Someone is here. He just seemed to be experiencing weird things every day. That may, maybe that might have been driving him crazy. A little while after he started feeling that someone was there, 
he died from an accident. It was while he was crossing a crosswalk. He missed the traffic light as it already changed to red. And then he died. Without knowing why someone was continuously following him. But you know what? We never knew if... We never... We'll never know if that stalker really existed. Freaking typos. <laughs> Here's one thing for sure. Though, he seemed to be a mumbling right before he died. Someone is here. Someone is here. Someone is here. If you ever feel someone is here, it might be a predictor that something bad is going to happen. Let me summarize the rumors you two shared. Maybe the accidents tend to occur in the, air, in the area where someone invisible is around. I guess. I don't know if the stories that Yuki and I have heard are true or not, though. They could just be the rumors, you know. Hmm. There's no way we can verify either. I hope someone among us is not involved in those rumors already, though. No kidding! No way. Anyhow, he posted on the mysterious forum. Something has to happen. Oops. Gotta go to my next class. See you guys around. Akane. That's the good Akane I know. You too, Yuki. You gotta be careful, okay? Thanks, you too. I'll lock the room. Thanks. See you soon. Phew. I hope everything's going to be fine. I hope nothing's going to happen to Akane Senpai and Shino Senpai. Alright, I'm off to class too. Hmm? What? Oh god. Yep, someone is here is after him. <laughs> it's weird. I'm sure I put the room key here. I know. Yeah. I gave it to Akane Senpai this morning. Sorry. I kept the key since this morning. You scared me. Oops, sorry. Anyhow, where's the key? I thought I already given it back to you. My god. You should have one. Me that I still have it, you know. I am so forgetful. Akane Senpai, Shino Senpai already left. What? Oh, yeah. Hmm? When I came in, I thought I saw both you and Shino. Sorry. What? Oh, it's affecting her. Great. <laughs> Why is he always the one being affected by these things? What? You said you said- Hmm? Huh? Yeah, I have the key. Thank you, Yuki. Instantly. I am hesitant to say what I was going to say. There's no way we see two people. While well, there's only one person. Guess the Connie Senpai thought someone was here beside me. Oh. Nobody felt like they were being watched since then. Nah. Maybe I think too seriously. It was Akane Senpai. I'm sure she just saw somebody by mistake. Wait, this is all confusing. Nobody is here, right? Or is it affecting him? Hey! Hi, Yuki Kun! Hi, Miss Ito. You're out of school, huh? How is your mom doing? Oh, she's been good, thanks. Moko-san? It's 
sorry about that. It's not like you, baby. You love you, Kikun, right? What's wrong, baby? Oh, yep, someone is here is following Yuki. Oh well. I wonder what she is barking at. Maybe there's a cat hiding around here. Hey, Moko-chan. Ah, uh, Miss Ito. I gotta go now, actually. My mom asked me to get something. Okay. Moko-chan must be in a bad mood today. Sorry. No problem. Will you play with her again sometime? Gotta say bye to Yuki-kun, baby. <laughs> this sounds so freaking weird. Have a good one. Sorry, Moko-chan. I'll see you soon. <laughs> no way. It's following me? Nah, just a coincidence. Moko-chan was somehow in a bad mood today. What am I going to do? Is this the rumor on the forum? Maybe I should tell Kane-senpai and Chino-senpai about this. Which one gets the bad ending? I'm thinking don't tell them it's a bad ending. Nope, I still don't know yet. More importantly, if it's actually following me, I might get the two of them involved. I'll see a little more. Hope that's the bad ending. Otherwise, I have to restart. I'm home! I hope nobody's following me. Yeah, this is the bad ending, I think. Get on the elevator. I worry too much, huh? It's only, it's only the third floor. I should have used the stairs. I guess I'm just too cautious. Please break. <laughs> Please kill Yuki. This elevator goes up this slow? Phew. Maybe. Oops. I forgot to check the mailbox. I was too into myself, huh? Oh well. Game back on again. What? Uh, the door of the elevator is still open. Out of order? I'll go check the mailbox later. Please be a bad end. God! It wasn't a bad end. So that means you're involved with the rumor, Yuki. Possibly. But we're glad that you are okay. Um. Do you guys mind if I go back and get the bad end? Because I really want to get it. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to skip. Okay, think. Maybe telling them now would get the bad end. I'll tell them. If I do, we might be able to solve this rumor. Hi there. Anyone online now? Yeah. What's up, Yuki? Maybe. I may have been followed by. Someone in the rumor posted on the floor forum. What? Tell me more. Where are you now? Well, I'm on my way back home. Can you come back to school now? Where is your house? Let's see. Do you know where the children's park by the bakery is? It's a little distance from the school. Um, beep, but I'll see you guys next episode.